Right. Welcome to the worst movie podcast in the world. This week we looked at the first Insidious film. If you haven't noticed, the new Insidious film is in the cinemas. So, I mean, what better time to do this one, right? We talk about all sorts. There's, there's demons in this. There's crazy old women. There's actually a weird amount of crazy old women. There's possessed children you know, getting you know, <laughs> flung around. It's a little, it's a little loop-de-loop. Chess hands come back. That's pretty cool. All, all God, sorts no. of stuff. It, it, you know, we, we, we talk about the film. Keep, keep listening and you'll find out more. So this week I'm joined by Ryan. <laughs> it didn't say fucking anything. <laughs> what am I supposed to do really, with that? That was nice. I like that. Carry on. I, I, okay, I'm, the, I, I'm also joined by Joe. I don't think we are joined by Ryan, but I'm here. I'm um, right. yeah, I'm absent. And 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 Dicos. You all. <laughs> Oh great. <laughs> Sorry. Well, no, sounds a bit like right, Joe. well, I guess going straight into it, let's do log lines then. I guess it's just Joe. So, Joe, you go. Whoa, What's your log line? whoa Cameron, <laughs> aggression to this week. Wait, 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 what do you want me to do? Cameron, Cameron, you are being very aggressive right now. You're giving you off are. a hostile vibe. Yeah, and Cameron, that, you seem I think that you should give your log line first. I am yeah, staying I agree. in cool. theme I with down. the demon you of the film. Down. That's the aggression. I'm staying in theme in theme with the demon. I concur. That's what I'm doing. I just said concord, but I meant concur. You I can uh, oh, you go from New York to London in six hours? That's pretty good. All right, right Joe, what, what, what was the log line? Not many no, it's your... You first. First. Well, right, it's come your, on, you're going to give me some time here. I just... I literally finished oh, watching the film. Okay. And came straight oh, here. Oh, so you don't okay. double, you just to steal bits of other people. So yeah, take, all right. <laughs> that means you should go first. Just so that, you know, you can't hurt anyone else. Right, I'll, I'll start this off then. So I'm not doing it. Time to think. Uh, okay. Yeah, i, I got to turn ready? my brain a bit. Oh, yeah. I'll turn your brain. Right. What? When a mother's... <laughs> when a mother's worst nightmare is upon the Lambert family and their son is thrown into a haunted coma, you will be confronted by red Face demon, man-in-suit demon, doll-girl demon, and Oliver Twist demon. But don't be afraid. The real horror here is the disturbing fucking violin music. I mean, who the fuck orchestrated that skin crawling sound of pure torture? Oh, that is true. That is, I fucked that violin God music. The one goes like, <laughs> bro, it was in your ear. <laughs> I I can't tell whether your logline was from the first or third person, or maybe like a fourth person. I think room. it was, it was from, from a mixture. It was from both. the further person. Ah, uh, uh, okay. <laughs> An out of body log line. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we're really getting into it this week, all right? I hate you. More dumps and all. <laughs> right, I'm just going to pick Dicos to go now. Well, I thought you wouldn't pick me. You always pick me. You are a pick um, me. You're a fuck me, please. Sorry. Right. Okay. <laughs> uh, right, shoot your log line. line. You have a log line. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I've got a log line. I've got okay, a log line. Brian, Brian, I, I, I can save you. Yeah, I, can, I can save us from the was, unprepared goons. Uh, thank you, I was going to turn around and go, like, insidious? You mean hideous? But then I felt like that was so bad. I really don't like this. Bad. I don't like horror films. <laughs> I struggle right. with this girl, man. What? Was it like, what, it's scary? I just don't, I don't know, I just don't like horror Oh, Dikos got scared. Dikos was scary. Yeah, it was we scary. It's scary movie. Go on, say it. Say it. Right, go, go on. on. Yeah. All right, go so... On. Don't go in there, though. <laughs> after the event <laughs> of the classic Star Wars film, The Phantom Menace, Darth Maul retreats into <laughs> a dream world where he takes up his true passion. Becoming Prince Andrew's best friend. Oh and luring small children with toys and gifts. Thanks, Ryan. The more Cameron. You know. <laughs> Cameron. Now it's Decos that's next. Oh, for God's sake. He just did one. He's still trying to find a film that's like Insidious, but not. <laughs> no. I think this should be like 
axed from the segment. No, 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 Almost no. no. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm not coming. I have brain, brain waves. You've had, we oh, are oh, walking oh. late recording the podcast, you're saying. <laughs> yeah, so you need oh. to hurry your ass up. You can come up with one. Digos Devonish sent, he, he's sending me posts on Instagram right now. Look, look at him. What is this? He sent me when bo- the Borderlands movie's coming out in theatres. 2024. I, like I like the game. The movie, though. Oof. Who knows? Right, all right. Uh, all right. Let, me let me think. All right. I'm, I'm working something up here. Uh, uh, this is all getting cut, isn't it? No, yeah, no, it is. no, this did. No, I'm just I'm thinking about it, all right? I think we should just skip and just get to the voting. Uh, uh, just unprepared. What do you mean? Do you prepared? We gotta give. We gotta give them. All right, I, I, I'm, I'm brilliant at the thing. Literally um, say I mean, Explain I mean, what the dude. movie freaking was, man. Yeah, just make a comment about something. It doesn't even have to be after the movie about this point. Beetlejuice did a better horror film than this. That's fine. Thanks. Thank you. That, Thank all right, you there, for there, one. There's costs. Right, Cameron, you got thirty seconds, or we're moving. Thirty on. seconds. Oh, don't don't do me like that, Joe. Don't you do could me like literally that. say anything. Oh my yeah, god, I'm man! Thinking you about... have so long. You have all week to create a long one. I know. No, I know because I watched every it time. Now. <laughs> every time you save it to the last second, so it's fresh oh, in my brain. Just... He, he's gone. All right, he disappeared halfway through. All right, all right. okay. The mo- all right. Oh. The movie that brought. T- uh, tiptoe through the tulips to the uh, modern audience. There you go. Wow. <laughs> Fucking hell. Thanks for blessing us with that. That's <laughs> wow, that was brilliant. worth the wait, weren't it? Brilliant, brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> for context, the no, even let's though the No way. Man's Sky of Logline Showdown. Let's go to right. yeah, let's go. Cameron, You are aware you've never won a point, right? Maybe you, maybe you should try. You know, or, one, just one week. That is the point. Because we're not, because the you're is, not doing is, much better. I think we've gone past. I've got the same amount of points as you, though, I actually. Yeah, but, but, okay, but, but see, um, Joe, wow. with Cameron's points, we've gone past the point where the funny is that Cameron doesn't get a point. Yeah, and I know. now it's just sad. It's not even, yeah, it's not even trying. The thing is, it would be still, it'd still be funny if he was trying. I guess I just watched the movie. Right, let's vote. But he never let's tried in the first place, which is why he never got a point to get to this. Okay, this it's is an not a log line intervention. I'm not willing to give. We'll just, it's fine. We just anyway, keep rolling. This is not Ryan. a log line. In- yeah, I knew I'm he would. Ryan. I pick Ryan. Okay. Cameron, who do you pick? Cameron, you're next. Uh, I don't know. You were hosting, Joe. I think you're next, actually. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. You're an agent. You're yeah. agent of chaos. <laughs> all, right, yeah, all right, Well, I vote. I vote Decos. Okay. Oh. Yeah, what do you pick? Well, he's just—he's done it again. He's, well, he's just done it again. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? Well, he's done okay, it again. Well, I, I like Decos. Is it made me chuckle? What even was it? Well, Joe, I uh, vote for you. So you've got the deciding vote <laughs> between who? Me and Decos. <laughs> Decos has got one from Cameron. Oh, fuck. You continue. know what? I'm not. I'm not even gonna let Decos have it. No. Well, Ryan, yeah, is he even he... gonna be in? <laughs> right, Ryan. Charity. Ryan gets the point again. <laughs> Yay! But also, I mean, <laughs> fucking yes. <laughs> Decos and Cameron barely had them. <laughs> we had things. Uh, <laughs> right, this is awful. Right. Fuck Logline Show. Then. This is and this is already a <laughs> fucked episode. You put it too. You Logline Show that's too early. I don't even have time to think of one. <laughs> don't watch the movie twenty seconds before the podcast. But then I remember it better. I've got it fresh in my brain. I know exactly what happened. What happened? Some old woman <laughs> got <laughs> choked. We need to get, <laughs> we need to get to the next section. <laughs> Oh, yeah, let's talk about what happened. See, that could have been your logline. You could have just been like, old woman got choked. Nah, <laughs> I, I, I prefer the two old, at one. Old woman let go burst. Speaking <laughs> of talking about what happened in the film, the She's part where the everyone says what they thought about the movie and stuff. Yeah. Let's let's have a little chat. Let's talk about what happened here. I don't like why the kid's looking at me, though, in this poster. She is in the oh. sequel, Ryan, because it's a prequel. 
Are they oh. all prequels to that one? I think oh, they God. are pretty much all pre. They are all prequels to that this one. Oh my God! What? Yeah. Why? Well, yeah, because 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 the uh, they wanted to make the sure new one they could bring back the um yeah the new one set ten years after this one. To be up to pretty much, they wanted to make sure they could try and use the red face demon as much as they could, but like, so they just kept using him popping up as like prequels to say he's been like there all Basically, along. Basically, they were an original. Yeah, pretty much. The first one's the only really good one. They didn't want to design one. a new monster. The first one's the only decent one. Apparently, this new one as well is pretty terrible. I will say. <laughs> what do you mean? I haven't seen it yet. But it's been. Have you watched it coming the new one? No. No. Uh, Why would I? I haven't seen this one. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I'm I very lost it. and confused. It's directed by the guy. What's his name? You were on about him earlier, Ryan. The main guy. That's oh. the Kundran as well. Yeah, he also directs Patrick Aquaman. Oh, Did he James, actually? Wait, is it Patrick Wilson? No, Patrick Wilson no. did the new one. This James one was James Wan, yeah. yeah. Patrick, Patrick Fingy, is, he, his first directed film was this new insidious because he's been through he'd been in all of them so he yeah, was like yeah, a Patrick Wilkins did direct it. yeah Fake apparently it's not very good though oh yeah 2.5 lol <laughs> but yeah at least they took the kid and they waited long enough they waited 13 yeah. years for him to grow up yeah they actually <laughs> used the same cast this is <laughs> uncommon Just, uh, in, in I... hollywood all these reviews about about yeah, somebody in dry and uh, those boy those boyhood they did that uh you know then clay boyhood yeah i remember watching that when it came out but wasn't that the whole premise of that film was about if you took like an actor insidious and spanned it across me. like 20 years basically yeah but it's also yeah. fucking linklater who is very like, he, it was a i think linklater film. might be the most patient man ever are you aware of like the before trilogy no okay no. So basically, this dude. So this dude created a trilogy of films, where it's like, so it's like a, almost like a romantic dialogue film. We're just talking about a different film series now, but fuck it. Yeah, I was about to say we're gonna be the off first. Track. The first one, right at the end of it, they go, "We'll meet again here, in like, or something in like a year," and then the next one, it's like nine years have passed, and it was actually nine years later. <laughs> Jesus. And then the second one ends on like a cliffhanger, and then it's another nine years later until he released another one. Yeah. It's like a 20 year fucking trip. Is he patient or is that a sign of laziness? No, nah, man. Him, in, in, in between the shit, he was making like School of Rock and that. Ah, uh, respect it. Anyway. Oh, damn. Hey, yeah, damn. anyway, getting back to the topic of Insidious and what happened in that film. I wanted to ask. Did the. Depiction of a land that's covered with ghosts and demons and stuff. They could have named it something cool. They named it the Further. Hey Why? man, I'd I prefer. I mean, in Stranger Things, they just called it the Upside Down. I mean, it's, it's, even that it's not really. A... What what else do you call it, really? Yeah, but that it has a simple further. explanation. It's a bunch of kids. Hey, it's true. Kids it's just an old lady, you know. Hey man, this seven-year-old lady. Kids. Yeah, there's just an old lady trying. I I know I think it's it's probably explained in one of the four prequels, but you know, I haven't actually what I've watched them all for a long time, so I wouldn't know. I wanna know Maybe it's Cameron, far away. Have you, Cameron, have you seen this before? No. Okay, so Decos and Cameron, you two are the only ones that hadn't seen it before. What did was it did you get scared? No. What was your scared factor? Not particularly. Like it was alright. Uh, scare wise. Um uh, is, I mean, it had well, set up and pay Cameron, like it would, okay, okay. It would show on, what was going to scare the spoo, you On the spookometer, right, from rat, you know, from rattled being the highest to bone-chilled being the lowest, where would you <laughs> say? Bone-chilled <laughs> sounds pretty morbid. I don't know if that should be <laughs> loud. No, because it, it, it means that your bones, they're cold. You're not, you're not shaking, okay, yeah. you know? <laughs> On a scale of bone-chilled uh, to rattled. Teeth chattering. That's pretty scared. That's pretty good. That sounds that's pretty, pretty scared. No, 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 no. Those bones are warm. No, 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 no. That's near rattled. I was, I was not rattled. I, 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 all right, I'll tell you what. On a numerical scale oh, that the not. layman can understand. No, the spookometer. I, I Cameron, mean, the, Cameron, use scientific methods, please. Just like yeah. they did in this film. My, my bones were lukewarm throughout parts. 
I don't believe Ryan, that. I prefer, I no, it's I prefer they this more in the spectral and ununderstood methods such as numbers. All right? No one understands numbers. <laughs> They're the scariest thing known to man. I bet you know, people true. have had more nightmares about numbers than they have ghosts. Yeah. <laughs> true. So I'm going with what a about, solid whatever, three yeah, about, out of ten on the fear scale. This film does actually, it's interesting, um, has mm-hmm. one of the highest... Um, uh, a scene in this film is voted one of the scariest jump scares uh, in like yeah, the two right. thousands. Yeah, me and Adam watch it together. We do not believe there was a single jump scare in this. We didn't get the jump one. Scares. Okay, so, the, so the, the, the one at the Patrick table. Wilson. Yeah, the one at the table where the mother sees his. You see the demon's face for the first time, pop up behind behind the father at the table. That is voted one of the biggest jump scares what? of like the 2000s. That's a thumbnail for yeah, jump scares. What? Yeah, apparently it gets people. It got me. I remember it got me the got first me. time I watched it. Got me this time. To be fair, I, I, I like stuff like just when they focus on her walking through the house. I can't remember if it was early on in the film and just you can see the child just facing the wall. Yeah. No, no I, I yeah. didn't clock that. So that was... Adam clocked that. Uh, I... He was like, what the fuck was that? I said, it's a coat. I thought it was a coat hanging on the side, so we had to grow it. Back. I actually thought it was a, I thought it was a bait. To be honest, I thought it was we, a coat and a hat. And yeah, like, that's what I thought. They, so we had to drew, roll it back. So, like, I noticed what hair? they did with this was that they drew. There was like toilet paper on the side, right? So it drew your attention over there, and then you would see the thing that would look like. The also, ghost, if, which is quite cool the, if the, all think. right, so the demon liked that song, right? Like it was listening to that fucking tiptoe song, mm. like fucking, you know, it was vibing to it. What the fuck was that little kid dancing to it at the, you know, in the middle bit? Because he wasn't the demon. He was a completely separate entity. I mean, maybe he's heard no, it through a demon's no, thing. No, but... no, there's many different demons. Did you not listen yeah. to the I did listen to it, but it was a one. different, it was a different thing. It wasn't the same demon. It was that one red face. Oh demon my god, that was you didn't listen to it. It may have been. Dump, it may it may have been something to do because the red face demon, his thing is like trying to, you know, draw children. That's why he has this like weird, like circusy uh, type of thing. So maybe that's like the spirit of another child that he lured in with that song. They surely would like, hate oh. the song. Why would it be well, dancing? Necessarily, if the kid doesn't know what's going on, the kid well, because seemed golden, like it right? knew what was going on because it was trying to possess the other kid's body. Otherwise, why would hey, it? Yeah. Been? The the child child no, no, Joe. The child is dead. Cameron, the child is dead. You just wanted to have a boogie, all right? It wouldn't. Yeah, but him out now. of any song, it wouldn't be that one. It's spook. It's no, but maybe he was from the 1920s. You don't know. Yeah, maybe it's the only song that he knows. Those were 1890 clothes. All right, <laughs> that was a really cool <laughs> scene, though. I, can... I will say the whole. It was a good um, scene yeah. from from the through Fucking the window. Fucking goofy as hell, him dancing. The wind. Oh, I want to make a point. I don't. I think we can just mention it now. Yeah, after it's been a while since I watched this film. Okay, and watching it again, the the demons and like the actors like in costume was pretty goofy. All right, they're not. They're like, they are literally oh, people yeah. dressed. In, in costumes. Yeah. <laughs> you know how like in other things, like in other horror movies, like they'll have all sorts going on to like make it seem like there these are dangerous spirits. But like that guy in the suit that was just like attacking everyone, that was just a dude in the top hat. And I thought it was quite funny. <laughs> when he f- when they first leapt at the woman, like you know he was like outside the window and suddenly he was in the room and like ran at her. I swear to Christ it looked exactly like Johnny Depp and I don't know why. It just looked exactly like <laughs> I think it was the hair on the white face. Probably. Like, but like really white. I was just getting Willy Wonka vibes, and then like he just kind of, I don't know, man. <laughs> and then he wasn't later on. I was just really, I was like, man, I kind of wish it was Johnny Depp. That would have been way funnier if it was Johnny Depp. What if the main female lead was Amber Heard though? Oh, even better. Yeah. All she'd have to do is shut on the bed. He would have gone away. You know what's an accurate description of this film? You should have used that in the log this line. Film, this film is... Yeah, shut up. This film is prettier than the all-female Ghostbusters, but less scary than all-female no, Ghostbusters. Less scary than... You are joking, surely. You t- no. are, are you admitting that you got Are you telling me, Deep? Are, are, yeah, are you telling me you were, you were less me. than a 2 out of 10 on the spookometer? Are you telling me that? <laughs> you need yeah, to use it. Um, Deacos. What I happened to your bones, man? I'm 2.5 out of 10 spook, okay? It's in my genes. Yeah, very small spook. 
All right, I actually wrote notes for this film, so since we're going very off the rails, let's go for, let's go for the I'm notes. Gonna, we're talking about what do you mean off the rails? rails? We're actively so something talking I about actually noticed film. in the let me fucking take over, okay? Let me get this podcast on track by we're taking it off track. track well, we're to not begin talking with. about the film. So we're talking about the little something... kid boogie. So, Joe. Hello. I, I recently have watched <laughs> the first two paranormal activity films, okay? Okay, yeah. In the first 10 minutes of Insidious, more happens than in the entirety of those two films combined. Whoa, whoa okay, but now you're bringing in a, a diff- yeah, isn't different the conversation. Whole point, yeah, yeah, I, I, the yeah, whole point I feel like you're taking it more happening. off track because you're talking about another <laughs> film. <laughs> 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 the point of paranormal activity is you're there for the entire film waiting in suspense. Yeah. All right. I, I, shit's I, supposed to happen. Okay, first off, all right, I'll go then. Next point, next point. Ladder in all caps. Ladder. The ladder did ladder. The ladder, the ladder it did ladder, stuff. Ladder. Ladder. Imagine climbing ladder and ladder breaks, and then you. Fall. I do want to know though what like significance that had though, because even the old woman said, "Oh, knocking his head had nothing to do with this," but they made a big point that that was when he got possessed, so it must have had something to do with it. Him getting yeah, injured. Yeah, up the ladder. Yeah. Like him falling off the ladder and getting injured and being in that attic must have had something to do with it. But they're like, "Oh no, like this was always going to happen." And then why the fuck did you make this poor actor fall from a ladder? This poor child I mean, fell from a ladder and hit his head. Just because, you know. Actually, them, to dude. be fair, the door, the door, the red door was in the attic. So. Yeah, and they were Ooh. going to the it's, pure. Maybe it's going to be like, there. that's when he, like, astral met the demon. Well, uh, maybe he did knock, yeah, maybe he did knock himself out. He's trying to get into the kid's out. body. Why are oh, they, like, wait, tormenting yeah, the woman so, so much? So, oh, that knocked, makes sense. so he knocked himself out. Yeah, ah, and then that astral makes sense. Projection, with, yeah, there, which is where he goes yeah. into the door for the first I time. I do question, though, why at the hospital, you know, you've got a child here that is in a, what they assumed was a coma, but showing no signs of a coma. They have no idea what's going on, but he just won't wake up, and yet they discharge him. That seems like really? something they the doctors may like want to do. That's the joke. It's called cool. 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 American Health America, baby. Yeah, yeah American Health Care. Yeah. Uh, no, but do you think the doctors? Yeah, but do you think they would have let him go? Like we've got this child that is in the most yes. bizarre. Yeah, it's a marathon. Yeah, because it's a marathon. You know, in some Fair cases, you know, they can't do anything. They just. I know we're. You know, it's just, I know we're English. Um, at least you're with it. I know, I know we're English and we've got the NHS, but the America, how they don't care. That's true. If they can't, oh, that's the scariest thing in the film. <laughs> Medical bills. <laughs> that's the only reason bill. they wanted to save him, so they didn't have to keep paying him. Otherwise, they would have just let him keep going. That's the motivation right. behind All this right. entire film, Fo- medical following bills. On from this, next point, sudden kid coma, kid coma scary. Yeah. <laughs> what does that even mean? Uh, because the kid just suddenly is in a coma, like it comes out of almost nowhere, right? I don't remember, I didn't remember that from my first watch. Um, and as well, the brother who honestly, I, no real reason why he's in this film. Yeah, that. actually, no, that's be a good like, point. The brother like, just kind of, he's there for one Dalton line. walked around at night. That's yeah. it. <laughs> that's all that happened. That poor child is never, never is not act- seen again. We never actually see Dalton walk around at night, by the way. Yeah, why I does know, he? Yeah. Oh, maybe it's not him walking around. Maybe it's in the other kid, maybe? No, no it'll, be the, kid? it'll be the but demon that- boy popped in him, but. Yeah, but then yeah, if but they were, like, if, but right. then isn't the whole point like they get closer and like closer, so it wouldn't be puffed in. Like they they were really concerned when the other demon was no, like no, holding it now to like, push him away. Puppet the kid. For now, the demon can like only puppet the kid. He can't. It doesn't. Have I don't know because they don't. They don't really talk. They just seem like as soon as it gets to him, it's like yeah. Got, the, you know, I, I, I do yeah. feel like there was a couple side things going to try that was that purposefully there to try like throw you off what was going on. But yeah, I think like for example, like at the at the start of the film. The de- is very obvious. The demon is like very focused on the baby, but then like after half an hour, when Dalton's in the coma, it's like yeah, yeah, the baby. It's nothing to do with the baby. We don't know why the demon was in the baby's room and trying to bang in the door, and the, yeah, the demon was that. in the fucking baby's room. Oh like, yeah, the baby's irrelevant now. Joe, you know what I mean, like, hey, hey, kind of hey, Joe, that's Joe, one Joe, thing that don't use oh, banging the baby I... in the same sentence. Like, that's Shut one up. thing that really annoys me with some films. The fact that for the film to actually carry on and keep you on your toes, they have to do things that don't make sense. 
like they were just throwing you off so they can continue. If it wasn't actually a good film, they wouldn't have to throw you off and they'd actually do good writing. I mean, I wouldn't go that far. I feel like it is a horror film, you know. There are the yeah. tropes of a horror film, you know, they all have them. I know. I know. Because the whole point it's is like, that, oh, you're meant to be dumbfounded like the characters are, even though, like, oh, yeah, there's you know fucking what? voices coming from the thing, but no, 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 we'd have to say you're crazy. It's, it's just as annoying as when you watch a murder mystery or a detective film. Uh, which one? And, murder, which they one find, <laughs> and they find a piece of evidence and you're not allowed to see, so you can't figure it out. Yeah, true. What's the point of making yes, you try right. and figure it out to the point where they get the, the main real to question find is... something you can't see? Well, That's the real I, well, the real secret horror that they don't reveal. The f- question I want to know is what happened to those kids who didn't get their test fucking checked? I got right. You know, they what got happened forgot- to them? They got <laughs> forgotten by the system. What happened to them? Yeah, like, they gone. He, he, he just left their tests unmarked. And they didn't he need never a went back to work. He never went back to work. So what happened to him? What happened to his class? Oh, bro, do you think the like crazy like old lady that's like possessed him is like gonna like take on his like class at school? <laughs> is Maybe. that the next movie? Just I don't, her trying rem- to teach I don't a high school class. Remember the second film that well? Like at all? This really? summer, Rob Schneider is possessed by a ghost woman. When, 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 when he's possessed, does he, <laughs> when he's possessed, does he still feel things? Don't know. No, it's like, guy, it's like get out. He's in the sunken. The alarm. Oh, that alarm. That alarm oh, was so yeah, freaking annoying. It's so loud. I was sat yeah. here watching it at like midnight last night. Everyone else is in bed. I got him from work and whacked it on. And it just, the whole film's like quiet besides a like, little jump scare. The alarm goes off. The alarm goes on in the film for a good like five minutes. And it yeah. was so loud coming out like my speaker. And then you think you're free. And it just, <laughs> it's like, nah, there's a second alarm. Yeah. Like, dude. The alarm's going off, and he just doesn't even shut the door <laughs> before he like looks around the house or turns off the alarm. Yeah, uh, the alarm. And he never locked that door in the first place either. Like That's he just true. closed it and put like the flipping what's it called the across. So we could have just you know come open the door, taken the off. And it wasn't a in. demon knocking; it was just a postman. It was just a postman. He was a bugler. You know, a buggler came in, nicked his flat screen. A left. buggler. A buggler. That wasn't <laughs> horror. That was just robbery. You didn't call anybody. You should have called the police. That's what you should have done. You should have called Ghostbusters, because that's who you're going to call. He I didn't believe like in them yet. The real enemy was the mother. The uh, other mother. The mother of the father. <laughs> because, like... What, a true villain of some <laughs> other mother? How are you going to... Kooky old like, woman? How, how are you going to keep a secret like that? And also, why did she not say anything? Because she didn't want to remember. No, because, no. Because, if, because Joe, if he gets his picture taken again, I think the ghost like takes him over. But it already took him over when he came back through no, the I don't further. think it did. I think it did. I think it, it did. It was already there. Because no, because it literally said because at, no, sorry. At the end, the reason you see the little from the old woman's point of view, the reason she took the photos because she handed that she took the pictures off him, and she could see the old woman's hand, not fingers, not the guy's hand. Then not that's when she woman. grabbed her camera and fucked yeah, because she was like, the "What the fuck don't is get going on?" See, actually, it's some crazy you know? old lady. Like, just... yeah, that, it, it is fact. a it is a pretty yeah. like it is a like a big fucking swerve i don't i didn't actually remember that happening the fact that like he yeah, i i, 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 I not, remember they not sold not really the next one. that well it's the I next feel. one just a prequel after this no no sorry the next one is the sequel to this one the third one is a prequel where it shows the old woman meeting specs and the other guy and how they oh, begin working they? together. Spex and Tucker, baby. Yeah, Spex and Tucker. Ooh, and then why? The, the fourth why? one. Did he why did this horror film have comedic relief? What was this? He specs. You're man. lighting the tone. And it's too dark. We'll keep on it. The, 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 the most vibe thing was these two dudes who are clearly like techies, and one of them rocks up just eating like a sandwich or some shit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, one of them had lights on his glasses. <laughs> to be fair, the comedic humor that like, was added with them two was actually quite good. Like the whole yeah. like 
like one one of my favorite scenes is when um the what's her name the old lady whatever her name is when she's like oh there's somebody check the other house and specs is like okay i'll go do it and tucker's like i think i should come you know i need to operate the equipment even though it's just like a camera with like filters on it and a yeah. stick that he points at things so you know i've got to come operate man <laughs> <clears throat> Sonic screwdriver. That's what he had. They did have some weird gear, actually. Like the whole gas mask situation. The gas... Oh, my God. What the bit, fuck was the was deal with the gas mask? And then the know. other dude's writing down in, like, charcoal what he hears? <laughs> yeah. What the fuck was that about? It's... And it's like he's listening through the, the gas mask shit. What the fuck But I couldn't tell. Even, I... even, like, leading up to that, it was like a cool montage for that entire bit. What the I hell mean, was Ryan, happening? Ryan, do you, do you not listen to people through goes. gas masks? I do it regularly. That's how I do most of my hearing, is through gas masks. <laughs> I mean, you're clearly <laughs> hearing wrong. This explains so much. This is why you don't, this is why you have such weird movie taste. You're just not hearing them right. You need the gas mask to hear them properly. Oh, I need what? the gas mask. You need the gas yeah. mask. That's why. And charcoal mm. writing. Sad, you know, sadly, you've clearly sadly never written in charcoal. It is the elite way of writing. That's how you communicate. Sadly, Cameron, I am... We are not living in 1942. No, so I do not sadly, have gas masks. Sadly, Ryan, you are just out of touch because I have gas masks, I have oh, charcoal, and I'm flying through. <laughs> I'm flying through. Flying through life right now. <laughs> Although gas it's beautiful. Masks literally, provide Cameron, that, like... you literally live in an attic. Look, okay, uh, does anyone else do this? When they say the name of the film, do you point at the screen and go, they said it? They said oh, yeah, of course. Line. That's what I did oh, that naturally. Yeah. That. The, the old it. woman, they the old the woman, she said, she said insidious. She twice, said it. And I was yeah. pointing at the screen. He did have an oh. insidious agenda. Okay. And okay. This is actually a very valid point. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so. So. Ah, fuck, Patrick Wilson's character, right? Yeah. Is a, you know, he can astrally project into the, you know, the. Is he Doctor Strange? Further. Yeah. He's like Doctor Strange. He can go into the further, okay? Yeah. So why would they make him forget? Because his son, right, needs to be taught the dangers of astral projection. Yeah. Oh, actually, that so reminds me of another been, point. If his son had been educated by his dad going, you can do this, but it's pretty flipping dangerous. All right. Maybe he's not going to just go and befriend Darth Maul Epstein in the freaking, you know, David Lynch spectral realm. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I mean, yeah, he's got like nice music and like little circus things, but I don't think any child is going to be going up to that. I mean, it's pretty much like hardwired I into his boy. Santa Claus. To be fair, he's like, you know, he's grooving to, he's grooving to music. He's it's not even nice kid. music. It's creepy. The whole thing about it's creepy. You, you'd avoid that. You'd avoid that. Yeah, but you I was also disappointed that we didn't get a scene. Yeah, you know when he came down the, st you know when it's like he was coming down the stairs, he just appears. I was expecting us to see him scuttle along the wall, which would have been cool. He scuttled along the He did scuttle. Yeah, he had a scuttle moment. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was beautifully Isn't CGI. Isn't the horror movie trope? Isn't the horror movie trope where the kids are fucking stupid? Like an it, that kid trusted it, who was a clown in a drain. Yeah, and got a face bit off. Hey man, what's yeah. wrong with clowns in drains? You actually it. reminded me of a of another point, uh, Ryan. Uh, something that just kind of an irritated yeah, me. Long about this film so when they bring the old woman in like for the first time and she's like doing her initial investigation blah about she and she even says that she knows um patrick wilson's um mother in the movie and so and you so she's basically hinting that she knows that this situation must be stemmed from the dad who's had this like astral things and demons and people in the past and she even goes into Dalton's room, sees the demon, okay, comes out, and she's so convinced. And you, and at the time in the movie, when you watch it, as a viewer, you're not meant to, are you, is she telling the truth? Is she not? But, you know, we can say now, like, she knows that she is telling the truth. She's convinced. And yet the dad says one thing and she leaves. She walks out of the house. She doesn't come back until they phone her back. If you were that yeah. convinced. She's that got this integrity, poor boy Joe. Stop going to let that guy walk no. all over her she's like oh no. right, fuck this i'm out oh, what? i'm not helping this bastard die. just let the boy die not her problem <laughs> well it would have been well, 
<laughs> What's she gonna do? So, phone, phone up her friend and go, "Oh yeah, like yeah, sorry, Dalton is being possessed and like he's gonna die in any minute now." But you know, your son was mean to me, so I'm leaving. Joe, Joe, it got rectified after, quick enough she, that it wasn't a problem. Yeah, but that's just you know, after, after the, the, isn't after it? That, it would have been too much that abuse. <laughs> after that abuse of him being mean to her, her services were no longer required, and she did not have consent to continue. Did she learn? Yeah, Five stars, but... Uber. Come on, Joe, you gotta be PC. It's all about consent, alright? Alright. Yeah. Now put your gas mask on. Next segment. Is Ryan still here? Uh, uh, Ryan died. No. Right, so we're on to the effects and stuff, but mostly we just talk about the effects. I think, like, I don't think there was, like, all that much. I mean, I remember seeing that one little bit of CGI where the fucking demon crawled on the wall, and yeah, it looked kind of shit, but it was, like, 2010, so, like, <laughs> it, 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 it looked alright for them, yeah. so I'm not really judging that. I think the rest of the stuff, I mean, Again, like, I, I, I think someone brought this up before, like, all the prosthetics and stuff, like, yeah, they were, like, they, 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 they look kind of, like, it, it, it wasn't very convincing. Like, I'm like, that is just a dude who's just painted black yeah. with, like, some red on his, like, <laughs> yeah. face. Yeah. No, he looked cool. He looked cool. He did, he did look cool, rest, yeah. Honest, but the rest honest, of them... He, looked, he was a mix between Darth Maul and the Boogeyman. Yeah. yeah. But the rest of like the like the guy that like attacked him at the end as well and like kept it's just, him, it's just like, a guy. Yeah. That was just a dude with like white face paint on and like a suit. And like the doll family. He wasn't he wasn't actually supposed to be there, he just showed up on set. And like the little the little Oliver Twist boy. Like <laughs> that was just a boy. Oliver Twist. That was realistic. Oh, he was yeah, just, a whole lot skinny. The random little kid. Did they see Jai when he was dancing? Because it looked weird when he was dancing. It did look... No, it I think it looked... was just, like, oddly slowed down. No, no, no. He looked, like... He just looked janky. I think they made him janky yeah, to I make him look it... creepy, right? Yeah. I, like, he was doing... It, was so... it looked weird. Like, something about it looked weird. But generally, like, as much as, like, the effects, like... Uh, like like you the said, like, they were just ordinary was... people. Like, yeah. I still think the stuff they put on them was, like done well i guess i just guess they were trying to achieve that look i mean it wasn't a good look but like i guess they got what they were going for but i know what you mean by the cameras i noticed they would they always had them like when like there was that thing going on upstairs and like panned up and you could see like the railings but it didn't show you what was up there so like, it was like you were getting closer mm. but still couldn't see you and it's like it freaking there, you out it, yeah you know yeah. it's there but it's not showing you and you're getting and, like, closer as a viewer yeah. so you're like oh shit i'm getting close to this thing i don't want to get close to it so that's freaking you out a bit it was good, good camera, but James Wan's like known for it. he does good horror camera work. So that's kind of his that's whole it, his whole that shit. scene with the boy is probably the best one where like like they don't make a big thing about the fact that yeah they just let it go. the wall Bruh, uh, and if you miss it you miss it if but you, if you see it you're the, like holy shit the Netflix those Netflix horror shows like the haunting of Bly Manor and like the haunting yes, no the haunting yeah, of that Hill House had, that is yeah. all that's the in fact the only thing yeah. is though there's barely any horror in that because the only horror in that is things in the background. Like no one I ever really actually... enjoyed that though. The fact that I, like you I as, as a viewer have but to then be the one that I, finds it. That's what I thought up until the very end because I thought they would actually get attacked by something, but they never did. So it was just it's no like one the... ever got attacked by anything. It was just that's people in the background. Scene, another scene from that show is was also voted one of the scariest jump scares. It was in that list. That's the one in the car. Oh, when fuck the, the one in the car. In the that car. made me shit my yeah. pants when that happened. Yeah. I literally shit my pants. That was horrible. Wait, you guess like just they're just driving the car, having a normal conversation. You know, it's a car. They're not gonna get haunted in a car. It's fine. Shit, your pants. Shit my pants. He was everywhere. I had to fling it around like a monkey. Anyway, so he fucking leapt out the back seat, just screaming for no reason. <laughs> so, so, I'm sorry, Cameron. What? <laughs> you leapt. You threw it around like a <laughs> monkey. Yeah, man. <laughs> what do you do with your shit? You're fling, fling it around. I don't shit myself. You go to uh, jump in and play dodgeball with it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's beautiful. I, I... But yeah, anyway, get back to Insidious. Also, what I, I, have... I, I've, so I've watched this film, I still don't know why the S and I is highlighted red. I don't know, actually. That is a good... Ryan bought this up last week. He can he? see. I don't know what it is. Maybe. I don't know if it's... I'll look it up right now. Yeah, figure it out, Joe. Use your interweb. I do have to say that I just want to emphasize that that violin music is probably one it. of the creepiest it's... soundtracks in a horror it's film. It's so ever. loud. 
right? Yeah. Like we had to turn screeching. like the fuck, we had to it, turn the sound out. It feels like a mixture of like screeching and like nails on yeah, a chalkboard like, and I'm like, ah bro. Oof. James Wan does like his nails on a chalkboard. He does. Also, I completely like like understood where the guy was coming from here because when this woman's like Oh, this crazy stuff's happening, and this woman's like other dimensions, and he's like, "Get the fuck out of my house!" Like, where the, who are you? What do you mean other dimensions? Get the fuck out of here! What are the astral forms? All this shit? Because he actually hadn't seen anything properly, had he? So he's just like, oh, "What do you mean? Yeah, I'm doing exactly the same thing." Yeah, I'm like, "What? You crazy?" Because they did see, they they did see it. And honestly, the woman should be like. I, I know she saw like one or two things and he was like freaking her out a bit but like surely you go to like like wh who was her first point of call like I didn't see it actually go to anyone she was like alright we're moving house first it's gotta be the house and she's like alright we're gonna go to a priest and we're gonna go to fucking um, B-Tech like Ghostbuster old lady people alright she didn't go to a, like a psychiatrist or a therapist to get some kind of medication first. I'm pretty sure that's the first thing someone would do if you start seeing weird things around the house. She'd be like, clearly I'm super stressed because my son's in a coma. I've got to start take like, clearly my like, brain's playing tricks on me. I need to take some kind of medication. The ghost probably wouldn't have went away then. She would have been high off her tits. She would have been seeing all sorts of other stuff. That's a whole other movie though. <laughs> Jesus. I think they should have just moved the kid that was in a quote unquote coma. To where they would be at all times instead of upstairs. Right, right. No, no. So, okay. So, based on the fact that the kid gets haunted in two houses, where have they not put the kid, huh? Outside. Oh, right. true. That, that is child. true. Throw it out Bro, get some wheels on that kid's bed and just shove him out into the garden. Where's the demon going to hide, huh? What's it going to do I if you put the kid on the middle of the M6? I a demon guy get hit by a car. That's true. And you know the brother? You know he was like, oh, oh I, I, can, can you make me move rooms? I don't like it when the kid, like, when he when he walks around, right? Now, hmm. I thought he had his own room, but when he said that, does that mean he was in the same room as him? No, he was opposite him. Like, he was opposite. Really no, no, opposite. No, you but can, then, like, see through the door. They sleep with the door open so he can but see, like, didn't they? Down. Oh, so they didn't, I thought then, that they'd moved his room to the room opposite it. So I nah. stupidly thought they had him in the same room as some like coma Cameron, kid. Motherfuckers, you know that was the <laughs> richest teacher in the world. All right. Oh but, no! No! Like, no! A, do you see? Do you see the signs? Least. That's why, Ryan. It was a leased house. For right. least. Was there, I I just not still rent. Right. Still rent. Right. Right. Yeah. Did a little, right. uh, a little search into the the poster, the title. Apparently, it's to do with something that about. The reason the two letters are red compared to the white is to show that similar to how the demon who red faced demon is actually haunting like inside the boy, the Red Sea like inside is inside of the word insidious. That's so what it's meant to reflect. The demon was inside the boy. <laughs> No, that's not, like what I said. Was. <laughs> that's not what I said. That is, I mean, to be fair, the plot of the film can be summarized with as a demon, demon trying to get inside a boy. boy. Yeah, I will actually. Another point, is and that is a completely thing. innocent statement. It is, and fully. I want to know with context. <laughs> why is I don't know how the fucking the father in this film was so lenient towards like even though he was like oh like had his memory wiped from all like the fucking demons in the past bro as he they've just moved into this house it looked like an expensive house okay it looked like it was an expensive place to live uh-huh and yet as soon as she's like oh there's a ghost they move out again yeah but he has it's some like, goddamn yeah. willpower if yeah. that was me i'd be like woman I he had we're the moving. best comeback when she was like, you didn't believe me. He's like, we moved fucking house. What do you mean I didn't <laughs> believe you? I gave you literally as much faith in your belief as possible. But I'm drawing the line at other dimensions. Please leave me alone, you chattering, insane woman. Please. I will say, though, as well, that song that she was writing, that sounded like it could have been a catchy song. Too bad the demons ruined it for her. Sing you know? the song, oh. Joe. Sing, sing the song. Sing, sing the, the song. song. Oh, through the window. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that what she was writing? Uh, no. 
Oh. But it might be... <laughs> why do they yeah. keep stealing her sheet music as well? Why'd they make a point of that? Like, why Because he it? liked music. Because... No, no, no. <laughs> okay, it's sheet. making a deep political statement about ah. the current state of the music industry and how Spotify is literally stealing music. Don't say that, because we were trying to get this podcast on Spotify. Spotify, sorry. we're sorry. Don't listen to Fuck him, he's crazy. Spotify. I hate no. Spotify. Cut him. Shut Cut up. him out. Cut him out. Shut I out. definitely do not pay for Spotify Premium, Don't and I encourage anyone Don't worry, Spotify. To we'll get rid of the naysayer. Right you instead Spotify. sign up for Burger King Music. One month oh. free tar- trial using code Good Stuff. <clears throat> Actually, to be fair, <clears throat> Burger King throat> Music... Throat> Nobody. There are no friends on Black well. King Music. Uh, is there any other points anybody wants to bring up? Or show uh, I think action? in the effects, just no. no. Go, I say we move go. on. Who is the acting go? And who is the acting Stoke? Now, I think that... I, is the Stoke's head moving every week? Because I swear he's looking directly at me this week and he wasn't the other week. So what's going on? I think that's the acting go. Spooky Stoke. Oh, oh my go. God. Wait, spooky that is Stoke. the Stoke Lisa. Yeah, it is. It's <laughs> always it looking. Icons, Wait, no matter where you are, it you know what that means? Does. That means I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's the stoke. Just like that guy right. who commented. Yeah. I'm coming for him. Fucking. That's who I'm stoke. coming for. <laughs> hate stokes. Love goats. Love the goats. Right. Uh. So who who do people think was the goat? Then we're gonna start off with Decos here. Decos, that's the kid. He was very good at being feminized. Boom. Yeah, that's true. Boom. That that's child had. Him. That yeah. child had like he the was... best acting gig ever. Like half the film, he just had to act being asleep. I he mean, was, yeah, he was getting all the money as well. But then, but then, but then, I want to hear everyone he else actually got acting goat some... first, and then I will. Uh, I've got the per- I've got the ultimate answer. There is a correct answer in this. My movie acting goat go is the red faced man. Oh, he was scared. He was Joe has got Joe. You have got the correct answer, but do you know why? Because he had hooves like a goat. He had hooves. He had hooves. Ah, oh, I got it. He was a literal goat. <laughs> he was a literal goat. He was. That's. He is basically what happened after Narnia, when that guy in like the snow and the scarf got Mr. like. Tumnus. It, yeah, Mister Tumnus got addicted to drugs. After, Ooh, after, after that and roll in Narnia. To be fair. And he decided like, to start, I mean, instead, of start like, instead of helping children that come into his world, he started like this kid. Narnia needs to do with another dimension children. as well. <laughs> Could be the same place. You, d- you never know. You never know. You yeah, that's where the end up. And Ryan, make, I, Ryan makes a valid point. I'm assuming yeah. Ryan's goat. acting goat's the same. <laughs> He's literally a goat. He, he, he was actually called, goat. I did a bit of research, I did some insidious lore. Okay, a bit of insidious uh, law for you. He was named the Lipstick Demon. What? That was his actual what? name in the film. Wait, because why? apparently, the writer that created the character of the demon... It, and it's funny how, like... It's actually quite an interesting, like, plot. But they just don't show any of it in the movie. So yeah. basically, this demon is, like, all, like, pitch black all the way. But, oh, his thing is, like, trying to, like, lure children out so he can take their bodies. That's why he has, like, little toys and music. And in his, he is, a, like, an evil demon. So all he knows is evil things. But his way of trying to act, like, kind and look jovial, he uses, like, a really weird version of a clown. So he, he apparently, the redness in his face is him literally painting lipstick on his face because he sees clowns put face paint on and, and, and he thinks Matt. in his like twisted mind that he looks like a clown so children will like him more but obviously because he's evil he just like makes a fuckery is, of it that is, makes himself yeah, even more what? scary that just makes him more scary also has yeah. he ever successfully stopped because surely if he managed to get a kid he'd be in their body right I, so like i would like has to he ever say got that, one? that oliver twist boy because you don't see him in the house like in like the other ghosts you see in the house, like maybe they were part of the house or something, but you don't see the little boy again. I'd like to argue that maybe the little Oliver Twist boy was one of his past victims. That's why it like followed around and liked the music and like the music that the demon played and all this stuff. Like As I like to think that's why he was dancing. Nah, that Victorian um, <laughs> child like it's fucked up. Yeah. Huh? Anyway, yeah. back up to the anyway. acting things. Uh, I'm going Who's with the acting acting goat. Acting goat? Baby. 
that baby cried at just the right time every time. It was on cue. You, it was following its script to a T. No doubt. <laughs> it could have just been crying know. noises, though. How do you know it was the baby? It was the baby. It I, I you tell I tell because it was so good at acting. I knew it was the baby. Yeah, it felt very authentic. And very, real. o- very authentic whales. It was making my maternal instincts. Digos was lactating. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, so who's everyone's stoat then? I think the brother. <laughs> yeah, right. The, the brother. Like, oh, like God, yeah. Fuck, fuck the brother. Yeah, he was, he was dumb. Oh, and like, they found that little this, award bro. of his. Like, oh, here's your reward. And he was just like, and like, oh, wh- why do you hide it? Because he knew it was a shit award. I bet it's for like doing a handstand <laughs> yeah. or something. I have a rebuttal. I do have a rebuttal for Ryan. Right, Ryan, Ryan, think about this. I know he didn't look like he did much, but every time I was looking at him, he had that perplexed, like, what the fuck are people saying to me look on his face, which is exactly yeah. what he needed, because everyone was just spouting utter nonsense at him yeah. the entire yeah, time. If you were in sense, his position, yeah, and people were going on about fucking astral projections and, like, dimensions and shit, I know, I would be like, what the fuck are they on about? His face yeah, every would, time. Cameron, I would <laughs> understand, because I am astral projecting Brian, he's right astral now. Yeah, that's how he's oh, talking to that- us. Oh, what do you know? It's the Brian rating. Was oh. the boy in the coma. Rating. Right, we're rating. Right, Before we go into rating, let's talk about a different rating. Uh, I'm going to put this one in the chat right now. Uh, an hour ago, when we were talking about it, Cameron re rated Zootopia down to four stars. Yeah, in, in, in retrospect. Oh. Back at track. Oh. Bad, You're not bad, a man of your word, Cameron. Well, huh? the thing is, I haven't seen it you in a no while, guts. and I do remember enjoy. I remember yeah, enjoying it one, when I watched it, and I was just like, "So maybe I need to rewatch it." But I did really enjoy the film when I did watch it the first time. So I mean, who knows? It's a good film. It is a solid film, but it's a uh, very torn. Right, let's rate this film. Decos, also, you, are, you are yet. Decos, you are yet to rate Blue Street. By the way, I'm not boxed. Oh fuck! Yeah, I need to do that. Oh, for God's sake, pizza. Ryan. Blue Street. Ha pizza. Yeah, let's uh, have a who scores this. Ha right, pizza. you know what? Yeah, Joe's, Joe's present and cognitive. Joe. Aye. <laughs> what would you give yeah. I film? won't say. I won't say cognitive. I say, would say rate this a, a B. A B tier film. I think it's a good, good horror film. Uh, it's one of the classics now. Maybe not the rest of them, but the first one definitely for sure. So... But it's not, especially on a second viewing, it loses a lot of its like spook factor. I will mm. say, Brian. What? <laughs> Brian. Brian. Wait, the cell. Uh. Uh. Well, well. Film had, film had many a scare. Um. And little did I care. Uh, as far as I am aware, it did not feature a hair. And uh, so I have to drop my rating for that. But what? it's a C tier. It's a C tier to me. It's just, it's a solid horror film. It's sort of from. It was almost like when, when digital film became a thing around like, you know, the early 2000s. There were a load of films like this that came out, and Insidious is kind of on the tail end of that. Where yeah, well, that's true. That's true. I think I think what keeps it as well from being true. I mean, this this is what keeps it C tier for me is that it was going for a PG thirteen rating. Oh, I know. Yeah, they'd was... gone if they'd gone a lot dark with it. I reckon you could have had a lot more of like the red faced demon. Because yeah, they. Re- I, I think that if you, if, if, if you used it too much, well. you would lose that PG thirteen rating sort of thing. Um, yeah, but then again, what is a PG thirteen rating? Huh? Asteroid City, baby. Full nudity, How apparently. That's fine. Full I thought that's what made something nudity. an eighteen. Ah. How? <laughs> How is it a PG thirteen? No, no, no. Right. All right. There we go. So Ryan, cheeky D. Wait. What? Cameron, I will fucking sell you I didn't alive touch and it. sell you. I'm China. recording this thing. I can't even, like, I'm just actually tab out to get the score. Right. Uh, so, Degas, what do you think? Give it an E. <laughs> Whoa, God. what the fuck? Why E? Why that low? I just, I, to me, 
it was just subpar in terms of horror films. I know, I know horror films aren't really my genre because I don't really like them, but I thought it was subpar. Stuff like a C tier horror film in my head is like the first Alien film. This nowhere near in my head. E, but valid. Okay, I'm valid. Give it, so how shark, right? how shark is a horror film as well. Okay, are you telling yes. me that this is like? Only one echelon above House Shark. Yes. In terms of spookaroonie per square kilometer, are you saying that this has like little more than House Shark? Yes. Fuck you. <laughs> All right. Well, this there we has go. A bit more spookaroonie. So Decos has Shark. E. Uh, all right, so I guess it's me. Uh, I thought it was very high D tier. I'm going with D. It's my thinking. Just nice. uh, you know, Why it was just thinking? it was all right. I gave it. I think I gave it two and a half on Letterbox. So it's literally like the average of average films. It, it was fine. Didn't really get too spooked by it. I mean, it's interesting premises, but I don't feel like they delved into them enough. So it's just like you know, eh, D. <coughs> Cheeky D from like, me. I'm gonna give it a D. Yeah. Oh, Christ. Uh, yeah, I got it now. All right. Well, there we go. Using the yeah. power of movie magic. Insidious in D. Which actually kind of insidious. D. I think it deserves to be there. Look at it. I don't like I don't like that poster for it, though. I don't like that little kid. He's just going to be staring right. at me every time. Ah, uh, to be fair, that cat's creepier like from poster. House. Look at it. Look at those teeth. Look at those fangs. House, the lesser cat <laughs> film to Puss in Boots. Right. Let's. Uh, <laughs> our scoreboard says differently, Ryan. Our <laughs> scoreboard is wrong. Uh, wrong. Our scoreboard is gospel, God, and everyone should follow it. To the <laughs> truly <team>. abhorrent. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we're to everyone's favorite section then. What's the know with Joe? Where we get to know what Joe wants to know. Joe, go. I want to know. There's a scene in this film. When uh, the dad comes back and he says he he meets his wife chilling with a priest on the sofa, Bing and he says, "Ah, oh, this feels like the start of a joke." A guy comes home to find his wife with a priest. I want you to finish the joke, and uh, the best joke wins an approval point. Does the point get put on our logline showdown points? No. No, it's on the what's no! to know with Joe. The with Joe can get a little point section. No. Oh! No. I'm not making that. But, I'll so, make it. Guy comes home to find his wife wife with a priest. Cameron, what's the end of the joke? And he what's got the me... punchline? This is, this is improv, you realise. You're giving them time good. to think. You yeah. improv me. Yeah, I had to improv good. the fucking log. Oh, okay. All right. always Man friend. comes home from I don't know, yeah, his job, bar, whatever. Comes home to see his wife with a priest. Uh, the, what, what were the wife and the priest doing, you may ask? Now, the wife and the priest were having an actual quite uh, leisurely conversation about, um, about some spiritual essence that the wife could acquire through some, some way. And the priest was talking to her about this because she was having these cravings. On, she was having difficulty doing some of the jobs around the house. You know, she's stay at home wife. She's like, I, I've, I've got a duster in one hand and a Hoover in the other. What? But now I can't hold the baby. How can I hold the baby? And the priest's like, Don't worry. Look, we there's got some dark magic here, some ancient rituals. And what we can do with that is grow you some chest hands. Oh to my help God! With your chores around the house. You can hold the baby as you Hoover and dust at the same time. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> okay, chest hands. Ryan, do you have one, or shall we just end it? Uh, I think I've got. I think I've got okay. one. It's gonna be bad. Okay. All right. Just say it at this so, point. You know, man comes home, finds his uh, wife with the priest. Priest points at the man and says, "Hey, man." Nice. <laughs> <laughs> that was ironically better than Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> literally, okay. literally the passing grade. <laughs> <laughs> and for the big finale, tune in next week. Just we're end gonna be the watching podcast. Oh my Springs. god! Endless.
endless I've never seen Palm Springs. This is my choice for next week. I've kind of wanted to watch Palm uh, it, Well, actually, the kind of I've actually like seen it. <clears throat> It kind of looked like Cameron in that in that poster. Oh, Andy I'll, Samberg. I'll take yeah. that as a compliment. Look, I, is... was, look, I, I have seen Palm Springs. This is a fantastic <laughs> film. Okay, should be a it's good a time. Bit of a, it's a little bit of a twist on the uh, the old, you know, stuck in a time loop genre where there's multiple people stuck in there. Um, and basically, it starts out with Andy Samberg is already in the time loop, and he's just super fucking depressed and doesn't care. Yeah, I don't like. Him. What? So I'm not looking forward to this film. What? How? Yeah. That looks great. What do you what, mean? Brooklyn Nine. Um, what? Brooklyn Nine. Um, I. I, Top I can't. Never stop. Never stopping. I can. I can't. Um, and Brooklyn Nine. Nine. I'll be honest. What about the Lonely Island, Joe? Do you not <laughs> ever? Do I'm, the I'm thinking. The Lonely Island's best grooves. <laughs> well, if you gave Insidious a B, so I understand why you don't like Brooklyn Nine. Nine. <laughs> and it also features the mother from How I Met Your Mother. And, but, and sadly, Andy Samberg is not the father in How I Met Your Father. Or well, he could be. We haven't seen. You never know. Show yet. Anyway, yeah, join us next week for Maybe that. Andy it should be Samberg's a good time. Banging Kim Cattrall on the side. <laughs> Who knows? We, no one knows. Join us next no week for that. Uh, thanks for listening. Uh, follow us on uh, or socials. Uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Leave a comment of a film. You know what? Yeah, do leave a comment of a film, but we do kind of want to watch Palm Springs. This is so, too I mean, of an outro. Don't worry about it. I'm. You know what, Ryan? For that, sat. And you know What's what else point? you can do? It, you could leave comment? a heart Nobody out. Comments. <laughs> no, no one comments. Nah, comments. No one comments. The only person who comments is Ryan. All right, say bye, guys. I'm gonna comment. Uh, on this one bye. See you next week. Bye.